Now a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News tonight. A young local mother makes the most difficult decision of her life to fight back against a disease that has devastated her family. My daughter was my reason right there to set the example and to make sure I'd be there for her. Thanks to a bold choice, doctors say that mom has greatly increased her chances of beating cancer. Eyewitness News anchor Susan Roberts joins us now with a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Marissa LeVake is a healthy young woman who took control of her own destiny after a test revealed that she had a genetic predisposition to breast cancer. She didn't want to live in fear, and she certainly didn't want her daughter to go through what she did growing up. Not even one year after learning she was at high risk for developing breast cancer, Marissa LeVake believes she made a decision which will ultimately save her life. I just wanted to be done and be able to sleep at night and not be waiting to be diagnosed. What was the reaction from your close friends and family when you told them that you were going to opt for a double mastectomy at 23 years old? I've been involved with breast cancer on some level since I was five years old. Um, so they kind of expected it from me. Just shy of her 25th birthday, Marissa remembers her mother's first breast cancer diagnosis and the second. Today, her mother is cancer-free. Her grandmother was not as fortunate. She died of ovarian cancer at 48. And Marissa's cousin, Charlene, she died even younger. She actually passed away at 31, leaving two small kids behind. I'd have to say that played a lot bigger role than anything else for me. Marissa saw parallels in their lives, their ages and children. She too is a young mom and has a seven-year-old daughter named Livia. Hoping to break her family's cycle of breast and ovarian cancer, Marissa tells me her decision to opt for the double mastectomy was cut and dry, despite the fact that at least one doctor told her she was too young. She was more concerned with if I could breastfeed or what a scar would be like for a younger woman going through this. If her physician had questions. But Marissa was determined she got a second opinion. Nobody is required to do a surgery that they don't want to do. It was uncommon for a woman Marissa's age to be considering the surgery, but Dr. Jennifer Goss says her family history and the BRCA1 gene mutation meant Marissa had up to a 90% risk of developing breast cancer. Post-surgery doctors estimate her risk now at 2%. For her to wait to do the surgery till later would leave her in a state of potentially constant anxiety. For Marissa, the newfound peace of mind is worth enduring all five surgeries and even the possibility of one more. They do want to remove my ovaries as soon as possible. Um, normally they'll say before 35. Between now and then, she hopes to have a larger family and share her story to other women who may be facing a similar dilemma. And Marissa tells me she is determined to turn all of her obstacles into something positive. That's why she started a foundation called Pink Insurance that provides funding for women who may be at risk for breast cancer but can't afford the expensive testing. I'm Susan Roberts, Eyewitness News. For more information on her foundation, just log on to foxprovidence.com. You'll also find an interactive quiz to help assess your own breast cancer risk, along with links to the most common questions about the disease.